Struggling with personal power? Wondering where you have to go to get some? Interested in how you can deepen your connection to the divine? I know these are a few questions you've been asking yourself, and you're in the right place. I'm Jacqueline Hopper. I'm a psychic empowerment coach, energy healer, and best-selling author. I help people from all walks of life connect to their spiritual self and support them in expanding their relationship with the universe. I support spiritual entrepreneurs who desire thriving businesses that make the money and impact they wish to make. This podcast combines everything I've learned during my own spiritual journey and my time working with hundreds of clients. It's my love letter to anyone who's yearning to harness the power that they have. Welcome to The Sovereign Soul with Jacqueline Hopper. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, everyone. I am so excited. Welcome to the first episode of The Sovereign Soul with Jacqueline Hopper. What? I'm going to have a collective applause right here and right now, please. Thank you. It has been a long time coming. It has been in the making. It has been in my sacral chakra (laughs) for a long time. This amazing, beautiful conversations with spirit type of art, piece, series, whatever you want to call it. I am so very, very grateful for my team, for this opportunity, for spirit and its love and its entireless, its tireless inspiration and downloads. I'm so stoked to be here with you right now. I would love to start with a collective deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. We are going to begin to center ourselves into this moment right here and right now. And I am going to be doing this with you every single time we get together. It is so important that we come into our bodies here and now to be able to receive the information that spirit wishes to speak through. This isn't going to be one of these woo-woo. Well, no, let me take that back. I'm going to own my woo-woo. I'm owning my woo-woo. This is going to be (laughs) woo-woo-ish. This is going to be a podcast like no other. We are going to come together. Often the information that I share with you is going to be something that has been embedded in my heart um, by the guides, by the collective energy that I continuously contact and connect with and um, conversate often in all of the areas of my work. But this is also going to be something that keeps up with where the energy is as a collective because it is a firm belief of mine that we are one universe, one verse. We are one verse. And we are here living a collective experience in our own beautiful, unique way. All right? It's going to be something that's going to be super personal for you, but also extremely transformational. And that is what we need right now to level up. Right now to be able to come through the fears that we are all experiencing in our own way. Right now to be able to set the anxiety aside and live more freely I know if you're here in this space, you're listening to my voice, you want more joy. You want more love. You want more abundance. You want more happiness. You want to step into the king archetype, the queen archetype that is calling you to take ownership of this life that you are experiencing. You want this here and now, and I am here to support you in the having of it. So let's get into our first topic. I could not possibly think of a better way to begin this beautiful experience with you than to speak about gratitude. Gratitude is the, it's the first real vibration that I taught as I came into the social media aspect of my business. It's the first workshop that I held for people, the gratitude workshop, and really what the energy of gratitude is. People think that it is limited to just thank you, but it's not. It is so much more than that. It's so big. It's so um, freeing when we allow ourselves to be lived within that state of appreciation, I mean, we free ourselves of lack. We free ourselves of limitation and we set ourselves not just free, but on the path of receiving. 
And we do. We want to receive. We came here to create and receive. That's the gist of this whole life's game, if you want to call it that. I like to call it that because, you know, I like to feel as if I'm in so much more control than sometimes I feel I am. The universe is ultimately in control, but, you know, no one wants to feel as if they're just left here to sink. And we're not. But you know what I mean. Gratitude is the key to manifestation. Hands down, gratitude is the key to manifestation. If you want more in your world, you have got to start right now appreciating all that you've accumulated thus far. If that's anything that you took from today, that's the most important part. If you want more in your world, more money, more love, more opportunities, more experiences, more expansion, more self-development, more friendships, more career moves, you must start here and now creating an appreciations list. Counting all the blessings you've been given. The universe is so attracted to our vibration. It's what it responds to. It doesn't respond to your words. I can sit here mindlessly day in and day out speaking words like, I'm abundant. I'm abundant. I am abundant. I am abundant. Anyway, I want to. But the universe isn't responding to my words. It's responding to the vibration and the frequency that I keep. That frequency needs to be in gratitude. It needs to be in anticipation. It needs to be in excitement for what's to come. It needs to be in a space of love to really bring in more of what we want. Fear blocks it. Anxiety blocks it. Scarcity makes it run fast. (laughs) You know, when you're counting your dollars when they are scarce, It's actually supposed to be the other way around. You want to count your dollars when they are in abundance because that's what the universe is going to respond to. And so it's going to be a bit of a shift in perspective, which is awesome. I love triggering people into shifting their perspective about the way that they see, whether it's money or relationships or love or gratitude. Shift this perspective. Just keep an open mind here. What do you have to lose? You have everything to gain by trying this on, seeing how it fits you, seeing what you can do to... Um, really fall into it and make it a part of your lifestyle, your practice. Mm, Gratitude is one of these things that took me a little while to really embrace. More so the the, the habit that it calls us to step into. We want to make gratitude a practice, a routine, a habit. I love gratitude journals. Love them. I have a lot of them. Um, They are dated all the way back to 2009, And I can go back to any one of those back in 2009 and relive what was going on at that time, what I wanted to step into, what I was hoping I'd be able to, you know, bring into my life for myself and my family and to see how far I've come today. It's one of the benefits of a gratitude journal. I have to share a story. I, (laughs) my son Jake was in uh, karate and I had written a check, which who writes checks anymore? I mean, be real. Who writes checks? It's either, you know, let us let me zell you. Let me Venmo you. Let me get that to you through PayPal. Who writes checks anymore? But I had written a check to the um, karate instructor and forgotten all about it and was going through my checkbook and realized that I was missing a check. And I thought, holy cow, I cannot for the life of me think where I writ- wrote that to. Where what? Oh my gosh, how much was it for? <laughs> I'm losing my mind. And so I went to my gratitude journal that night, and initially my gratitude entry was going to be, I am so excited for the remembrance of where I wrote this check. But I was guided to flip through the past few weeks of my entries, and there it was. I am so grateful for the opportunity to pay for Jake's karate dues in full. In full. And I was like, there's that check. That's what I wrote it to. Now I remember. So gratitude journals, they really can save your butt. (laughs) They did for me that day. But gratitude also, it's about really being able to zone in on all the things that are going right in your world. And we can be grateful for everything and anything. You can be grateful for nature. You can be grateful for the ocean. You can be grateful for the sun. You can be grateful for your children. You can be grateful for the opportunity to pay your responsibilities, that cable bill responsibility, that light bill responsibility, the mortgage or the rent, to be grateful for those experiences that allow you to drive 
drive in a beautiful vehicle wherever you might want to go. The opportunity to sip a Starbucks or a Dunkin' Donuts if you're that kind of person. Ha 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 ha. Um, but to allow you to just enjoy life. You set yourself into a totally different vibration. And in that vibration lies all the things that you're asking for. You have to meet them. It is not the other way around. It is not the other way around. The world does not need to conform in your favor to make you happy. You need to conform in your own favor to make you happy so that the world begins to shift and change through your eyes. That is what it's about, my friend. And when we are present and sharing gratitude, we are looking people in the eyes. We are saying to them, hey, thank you so much for helping me today. We are extending our thank you. It's not just a thanks, see you later, bye. It's so much more than that. It's a soul-to-soul acknowledgement that I am grateful for your service, for your friendship, for your love. Yoga practice has namaste. The light within me recognizes the light within you. When we take the time to connect to other beings, we're not just connecting to them in their ego. We're not just connecting to them in their physical. We're connecting to them at their soul level. And when we can show appreciation, it doesn't just shift your world, friend. It will shift theirs as well. And that is what we're in the business of here. So gratitude, you know, it's going to be one of those things that you're going to need to really embrace in a different way to start to have it exposed to you its secrets. And as you zone in on what it feels like to you, you can take yourself back to this energy anytime you choose. And as you do that, you're committing to yourself the I'm not going to be in fear today. I'm not going to be in anxiety today. I'm consciously and deliberately stepping into the energy of gratitude. And as I do that, I'm going to feel my whole being shift and change. My posture is going to shift and change. The things that I start to recognize and see shift and change. I'm not looking for more triggers. I'm not looking for more little annoyances. I'm not looking for that. No, see, when you're in gratitude, what you're focused on is the silver linings. It's the greater things that come your way. It's the awarenesses that lead you to more to be grateful for. The universe wants to give you what you focus on. If you focus on things you're happy about, the universe is going to give you more things to be happy about. If you focus on the things that create fearness or scarcity or lack, the universe is going to give you more things to be fearful or lackful or stressed out about. You don't want that. I know you don't want that. And I know many people right now are like, okay, well, show me what to do. Step one, grab a notebook. Begin with just five things a day. Here is what I'm so grateful for today. Here in this moment, right now. Number one, I am so grateful for the ability to drive my children to school and to pick my children up from school. Number two, I am so grateful for the coffee that I was able to receive this morning. I am so, number three, I am so grateful, so very grateful for the opportunity to see you, the opportunity to speak to you, for the opportunity for you to see me and hear me as I speak these words to you. I'm so appreciative for technology. Where am I? Where did I leave off? Number five, I am so grateful for my family because not only do I experience joy and love, but also happiness, laughter. My family's filled with crazies. They're crazies. They're crazies. And they bring me so much joy, these crazies. Home, my husband has a a picture. Home is where my crazies are. (laughs) It's so true. Home is where our bunch of crazies are. My circus is my home. My monkeys, they live there, (laughs) you know? And it's one of the greatest things I'm so, so grateful for. They help me transition from a day that might have been hard or may have been, you know, overwhelming in emotions. I help people all day long shift their attitudes, shift their focuses, step into their psychic abilities, step into their spiritual, you know, callings. And entrepreneurs create the incomes they want to see for themselves and their families. That's a hard job. I love it. 
it's the one that's filled with so much blessing and, 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 you know, miracles. I get to see miracles every day. I am very grateful for this life. This life that I live, that you live, it's a privilege. I don't remember the exact quote, but billions, trillions of people here in this world. Do you know what the odds are for you to be here, right here, right now? I mean, they're crazy, ridiculous, slim odds of you being here present right now. And do you know, there are many souls that chose not to incarnate into this experience. Many souls that chose to help us on the other side, which we're so grateful for. But there are many souls that decided not to be brave or have that courage to step into a body and be present here in the earth plane. Because it's hard. So anytime we can take a step back, anytime we can center ourselves into our bodies, and anytime we can do that through the energy of gratitude, I promise you, friend, it is going to amplify everything that you receive everything that you step into and your energy what fills the room when you walk in it is going to begin to become contagious and that energy that is so contagious is going to affect the lives of everybody that you walk into maybe not literally walk into but you know what I mean you want to step in with so much more presence and gratitude can help you step into that Gratitude is um, something that we, in workshops, focus on in all aspects and areas of our lives. So you can find things in your gratitude journal. I would kind of, uh, what do you call it, zone it out if you want to call it that, or use a page for each of the areas that you really want to heighten. It could be your health, your wealth. It could be your relationship. It can be, you know, the relationship you have with your spouse or your family or your friends or your children. It could be your career. When you bring spirit in, everything shifts and changes. And I've got to bring us back to this key point. It's not up to your partner to change to make you happy. It is up to you to see all of the magnificence within yourself within your relationship and within your partner. This is how you bring spirit in. Spirit takes over from there and makes those shifts and changes on your behalf. Suddenly, you've changed the tone. You've changed the tone within your relationship. And now your partner's responding to that changed zone, thinking about you. Let me bring her some flowers today. Let me bring her, let me write her a beautiful text and tell her how much I love her. That's the stuff, the stuff we want, right, ladies? Yes. Collective, yes. We have to go inward. We have to go inward and we have to see the things that we appreciate about ourselves, what we can bring to the table for our partner and how we can begin to make those shifts and changes for ourselves first that then pour over into our relationships. Money is another area that can sometimes feel very restrictive and frustrating. How can I be grateful for money? I have a saying in my wallet, and it says, thank you for all the money that I have ever received. If you think, well, think about, I'm not going to ask you to claim your age. I'm not going to tell you, write to me and tell me how old you are. However, I can tell you this. If you consider how old you are and you think about all the money that's come through your world since you were brand new, If you think about the 18, maybe plus, give or take a little bit, years of being supported by bigger beings, there is so much abundance in your world. When you're wanting to shift your money story, you're wanting to look for the things that money has done for you over the years, the things, the ways, the ways that it has shown up for you so that you could put your children into sports so that you can put them into college so that you could you know love on a pet and make sure that they were cared for so that you could purchase real estate so you could purchase vehicles so you could purchase food consistently might i add i'm 41 over the past 41 years that's a lot of money that has come in We want to shift it from a lack or scarcity to one of abundance because when you shift it, you also shift your energy. And when you shift your energy, the universe can respond to your new vibration. And it does so instantaneously. 
it might take a minute to see the um, manifestation, but I can assure you, the universe is always turned on. It's always listening to you. It's omniscient. It's always there. It's for everyone. The minute that you shift your energy, it responds to the new energy that you're at. The longer you can hold your energy there, ooh-wee. now we're talking some serious shifts, changes, and change. <laughs> That's what we want. That's where we want to go. Gratitude. Some say it's so simple, it's so easy. It really is. It's not meant to be hard. By golly, we make this life's experience much harder than it needs to be. So much harder than it needs to be. If I can just focus on things that I'm grateful for, take my mind off the things that I'm struggling with, everything shifts and changes. My co-partner, because you are a co-creative being, my co-partner can now say, oh, finally, she took her attention off this issue that we're having. We've been wanting to clear up for so long. You have spirit guides and archangels and guardian angels. You've got deceased and a part of loved ones working on your behalf. And they're all just sitting here waiting for you to step off. Because the minute you step off, they can step in. The reinforcements are there. They just can't do anything for you while you are literally choking energy. So let's shift it a little bit. Let's focus on some things to be grateful for. I can do that for the day. I guarantee you there's going to be so much shift and change within your day. You'll feel better first and foremost. And that right there, that means everything. Because when you feel better physically, you feel better. When you feel better emotionally, you feel better physically. If you're in stress, you feel stress within your body. The tight chest, the upset stomach, the irritable digestive system, right? But when you start to shift your emotions, the energy in motion, you begin to physically feel better as well. And that is your first gift. And then, of course, the universe is able to give you some extra silver linings, some extra wonderful things. I cannot wait for our next episode because we're going to go into this a bit differently. I think I'm going to do some techniques with you. I also would love, love, love for you to share with me what you took away from this episode and what it is that you are going to be putting in your gratitude journal. I want to hold space for you. When more than one person comes together with an intention, when more than one person can hold space for an intention, what? That is powerful. So make sure that you send me a message. Let me know what it was you put in your journal today. And keep uh, in touch. Keep in touch. The next episode, we're still staying with gratitude. We're still talking about manifestation. We're going to be talking more probably about intention. And that is going to be awesome. I will see you soon. Well, that's a wrap for today's episode. Thank you so much for listening. If you've enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like, share, and leave a review on Apple Podcast. It makes it so much easier for others to find the show. Until next week, all my love.